Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we have a very special video. This is part two of the G Customs Creations Noble Team review. So I'm hoping you will have seen the first part of the video. If not, stop this one, go back and watch that one, then come back. But just in case you forgot or something, uh, this is a fully custom Noble Team by G Customs Creations. I will have the link to his Instagram in the description. This team was custom commissioned by Adon Castro, and then I was asked to review them. So, the first part of the video, we looked at six, George and June. Today, we are going to be looking at the final half. That is Carter, Kat, and Emil. So, let's go ahead, jump right in, and we will start with Kat. Okay, so here is Kat, and I gotta say, after the first three members, I have very high expectations. Um, looks like she comes with two weapons. She has the Splazer from the Spartan Operator uh, Halo Heroes Series 11. Not a custom. Whoops. Just yeeted her over. And then she has a Magnum. Not sure where that Magnum came from. It is official Mega Constructs, I think, but I'm not entirely sure which set it came from. But, so first off, the color is fantastic, and we have a, another wash, which is, I love washes. It, I, I can't say it enough, washes make the figures just look so much better. We have some very nice markings, some Darth Vader-esque lights on her chest, some white stripes here, some white stripes up there. She has the white stripe on her helmet. Very, very nice. Shoulder armor some wash on it uh, the back piece here looks like it's been modified somehow either sanded down flat or it's a totally custom piece I have a feeling it was sanded down a bit but that looks so good she's got a little bit of blue around the back of the legs she has some add-on like a hard point over there on her hip and then the robot arm first of all the uh, shoulder armor has been cut and just glued straight onto the arm just like it was in game but this arm is customized to have a bend in the elbow uh, Mega's robotic arms do not have a bend in the elbow but this this is this is what Mega should have been doing with this robot arm I mean look at that it's amazing it's even got the little armor on the hand, the little skeletal hand. Oh, man. Come on, Mega. If your fans can do it, you could do it. So, let's show how poorly done the Mega arm is and get the Halo Heroes one in here. Once again, the Halo Heroes figure looks like an absolute toy. This is a good figure. The Halo Heroes cat is a very good figure uh, with the minor gripe of the arm. Well, I say minor. It's not really that minor. It's a, kind of annoying, but she's still a good figure. But next to this custom, she looks like a toy. She really does. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, well, actually, it looks like the back piece maybe wasn't as sanded down as I thought. Dang. So, like I said in the previous video, these figures do, some of them have the slight issue of the heads being a little bit sticky. Not real bad, but slightly. And it looks like uh, Cat up in the shoulder has gotten a little scratch in the, the paint on the arm. Other than that, though, this is flawless paintwork. Obviously, you can see the color of the legs through the bottom of the feet, but if you paint inside those kind of stud holes... You can't put the figure on a stand or anything because then the paint just scratches right off. So that's understandable. Next up is Spartan Carter. I just I I seriously have no words for the the skill that goes into painting these figures. Look at that. The balance of the colors, the markings, the little lights. He's even got the uh, little red stripe up there on the helmet. 
he's got a what is that a the it's like a travel pack attached to the hard point on is that a unsc symbol Re how how in the world do you paint a unsc symbol that small what even he's got the leg markings kind of like the halo heroes one and I can't tell if this gun is a custom or not. I think it's not. But either way, it's just an old style uh, AR with gray. That UNSC symbol, what? I thought the one on George was crazy, but that's something else. And then, of course, we have to do the comparison. This is the fabled Halo Heroes Carter. And he looks like a toy. Like, I, people will spend $100 or more on this guy right here. And he looks like a toy. And he has no UNSC symbol on his arm. He doesn't. He doesn't have the red stripes on his helmet. Like, this guy is a good figure. And beside this custom, he just looks so derpy. Now, I saved Emil for last because... Like, the, his paintwork is on par with the rest of the figures, if not more, because I'm pretty sure that skull is fully custom painted, I think. But the, the thing that I really wanted to show off here, um, we'll circle around to it slowly. You can see nice markings on there. He has a pouch just like, what was that, June had that pouch, customized Call of Duty pouch. Printing around the back, lights, little warning symbols. His big shoulder armor. He has some bullets on his wrist. And he has his knife in a little tiny sheath on his shoulder. And the knife is removable. How insane is that? This is just the normal Halo Heroes Kukri knife. Uh, I... What? Uh, I, I've run out of words. I This is so just amazing. Like, why didn't Mega do this? Is it... Uh, I don't know. That That's just... That's beyond... That's, that's some next level stuff right there. The shotgun shells on the chest are printed up very well. You can see some lights. Um, the shotgun itself, I don't believe, is custom... Um, actually, let me grab the Halo Heroes Emil. Um, I think, actually, it's just the Halo Heroes Emil um, shotgun. Yeah, that's got to be a custom-painted skull. That's got to be... I got to make him stand up. Come on, Emil. You're not dead yet. There we go. Gosh, the sheath, the sheath just does the whole figure. That's so phenomenal. And Emil is the most kind of muted out of all of the Noble Team Halo heroes. And so he kind of blends a little bit better with these customs. But the wash, the sheath, it all just puts this custom beyond the Halo heroes version completely. Like, wow. Gosh, uh, that is some serious talent right there. And of course, we have to do some comparisons with some other customs, just like we did in the first part. So, once again, we will drop in ODST Animations, CQC, very snazzy looking Spartan, Mega Blix, CQC, also a very snazzy looking Spartan, just very much more muted and then my all-time favorite custom figure jkt customs air assault spartan and then just because i will drop in my recruit again look at that each figure has such a unique style like it's like snowflakes no two are the same Gosh, that's, that is an epic, epic display of creativity right there.
And, of course, I would be remiss not to show the entire team together. And that's enough to have any Covenant pooping their pants and running away. Just look at that. That is some absolutely standout work right there. I'll put the link to G Custom Creations uh, Instagram in the description if you want to go check his work out and maybe commission some figures for yourself. A big thanks to Adon Castro for letting me borrow these guys to review them. It was an epic set of videos. Uh, I just cannot believe that 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 kind of precision and paint work can be done by a human and like not a machine even the, the machine prints by making themselves are inferior to these hand painted works of art it's this this is seriously beyond anything i have seen yet uh, this it's just amazing thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.